Hello YouTube, it's Lisa Stade Hill, the YouTube channels of uh, Lisa Stade and Hitler Obsessed, and now I'm going to do uh, part 7 of uh, the review and the reaction of the 1978 for Swastika, uh, that's a history documentary from 1974. Uh, I'm going to just go through the review and the reaction and see, uh, you know, and discuss some of the uh, the movie while we're watching it, uh, live here, uh, on, uh, my TV. I'm trying to, you know, keep YouTube policies and guidelines happy here, uh, while we're at it. And then, uh, you know, we're gonna see if uh, this thing is really, uh, just, uh, a historical documentary trying to do something like controversially humanize Hitler and Ava Braun. And, uh, or to give a different perspective on a history documentary, uh, or is it just really just not what it's supposed to be praised as, and just really, in the end, uh, Nazi propaganda or some Nazi sympathizer propaganda there, you know? Let's see here, part seven, let's go. So, <clears throat> I started... I started with uh, where we left off here. We had uh, uh, yeah, a lot of the scenes of uh, Hitler's uh, <sighs> retreat there in uh, Bavaria, of, uh, mainly, uh, you know, they're, they're just done to, like, you know, try to, because he thought, like, they wanted to make Hitler look uh, humanized, you know, normal, to say. And he wasn't a good guy. He wasn't a great guy. He was a mass more genocidal dictator. I think I've said that enough on these uh, channels. Uh, it's been done to death. But, you know, here you see uh, Hitler's two secretaries. Oh, and that's uh, Albert Speer here. So. And you can see the subtitles. So there's his two secretaries. Uh, there's Ava Braun's sister, Gretel Braun. Uh... I don't know, whatever shenanigans this is. Yeah, they have a nice uh, mountain. A nice mountains back there. Uh, oh, and that's a Hitler, God forbid. Yeah, Hitler did uh, like to walk around with a cane and some Pandora there, you know, because he uh, owned as one of Bobbles' kids there. Uh, that you have... Uh, but Hitler did like to do that, you know, walk around with a cane or whatever there, because, you know, in his youth, he considered himself a bit of a bohemian artist, you know, this dandy or whatever that was. The spoiled cotton pick and rotten there, and uh, if you can actually see here, we have Roland's uh, Olympics, uh, that's a uh, Roland there, uh, uh, during the Olympics here, you know, they did take a lot of, uh, to, like, hide a lot of the, uh, anti-Semitic, you know, racist propaganda and stuff in the Third Reich, just to make everyone look all happy, and everyone is all nice and wonderful, they even removed, you know, a lot of the signs about, you know, Jews allowed and stuff, uh, you know, just for like, you know, to make everyone feel happy and wonderful, even though a lot of that stuff was around. Oh, and here's those doves. Yeah, Hitler did, uh, let go a bunch of doves, uh, in the 1936 Olympics. So, if you wonder where a lot of people l l release a bunch of doves, uh, and, uh, you know, public gatherings or whatever, or some important event for like, you know, as a symbol of peace or whatever. Yeah, that's the guy. Oh, and he also, uh, and he has a lot of dignitaries here. Everyone there. <coughs> you can see uh, a lot of Nazi leaders and stuff, and you have Hitler, I guess, there. Yep, there's Adolf. He's sitting down in his tail. Of all the athletes, they're oh, on it. Here's Hitler again. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, bunch of the parades and stuff. Yeah, Hitler did a lot of that because, you know, it's like, well, you know, the psychological masses, you know, they were supposed to 
connect, and, you know, be persuaded and stuff, you know. Oh, yes, Hitler also invented the torch. The running of the torch to light, uh, you know, the base in there, and you got the film cameras there. Uh, that, that was done for the, uh, oh, and you have even the first TV, the first TV was made in Nazi Germany to film the Berlin Olympics. So, uh, yep. But yeah, Hitler did, uh, create the lighting of the torch as the first thing that he was invented, uh, for the Olympics that we all get to love and enjoy now. So, thanks to a whole mass wing dictator. And I have, uh, I guess it's Logan. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, a lot of, uh, but yeah, uh, during the Olympics, Hitler's ideology was proven wrong because of, uh, Jesse Owens. Like, he didn't believe, like, if you can see, here's Jesse Owens, and I guess the other guy there. Oh. Here's Jesse Owens right here, talking. Uh, sorry that I can't put the audio on, because, you know, uh, YouTube's policies and stuff, you know, I don't want to end up with any copyright, uh, issues here, on this. <clears throat> so, yeah, you know, Hitler's ideology was proven wrong, you know, his viewpoint that, oh, you would have to, you're, you're part of the master race if you're a blonde-haired, blue-eyed guy, no, fell on its feet, you know, because of Jesse Owens, and, he didn't even want, Hitler did not even want to shake Jesse Owens' hand because, you know, he's a total douchebag. But also, you know, he knew that, I guess he's kind of butthole that his ideology just fell out of blood on his face. So. Probably that too. Maybe it was butthole. Uh, but here's a lot of the scenes of uh, now the call up to Owens. So this happened after all the 36, you know. With, you know, the annexation of uh, Austria and stuff. You know, a bunch of guys going through the physical examinations and stuff before they go into the military. Uh, yeah, now you have a bunch of uh, guys asking a bunch of questions, you know. Oh, you know, what's your health? You know, the usual the Nazis, they would ask, you know, if you had any vegetarian diseases, because, of course, they would just exterminate you for that. Uh, <clears throat> or if you had Jewish ancestry, yeah, you would screwed over. In the Third Reich for that, so you'd be killed. Uh. We have a bunch of guys here that are going off to the war and stuff and all happy and whatever. Yeah, I have a lot of that though. That was something done to portray, you know, how wonderful things were, how wonderful the war was, you know, how it was patriotic it was as a German to be fighting for the Volk and the fatherland of the war. And all these guys getting conscripted that would probably die somewhere if they well, lucky it would probably be on the west coast, not the east. Uh, because Hitler showed Barbarossa at them. Uh, Operation Barbarossa there. <clears throat> and yeah, but no, it, just, it was always done to portray all this positivity, you know. If you, if you can see, it's the uh, film mark here. And then you have the civilian guys marching uh, to, I guess, symbolize, you know, oh, and now you're going to be a part of, you know, the armed forces. You're going to be a part of the Wehrmacht. So, here's a bunch of guys getting their uniforms tried on and everything. All these guys. Pretty much it was uh, almost like, you know, just a very important thing, you know. Yep. Yeah, I guess, you know, yeah, you were just... In Instantly for the propaganda, you know, you would start off as, you know, probably, you know, a regular foot soldier, and they will become magically an officer, yeah. Probably most of the guys would have probably just died at some point in the war. They have a bunch of them marching and stuff, you know, here. We have a bunch of the marching and the, the drills and stuff, you know, Hitler did believe that uh, in World War One, a lot of the 
guys that were fighting in, like, you know, the list regiment and stuff. Well, all the salvage shows used as cannon fodder, and there was one reason why Hitler went to such a big thing with also the propaganda, which I guess, in Hitler's opinion, would have been. Uh, and yeah. Let's see, this is the swearing of the oath to the fuel, which would be Hitler. Uh, in Germany, you had, uh, you'd swear an oath to, like, you know, the fatherland, or to a king, or whatever, or to the Kaiser. And, you know, you would have that instead of something like, let's say, Adolf Hitler. You, you wouldn't be support, you wouldn't be swearing your oath of allegiance for, you know, just one guy. Um, that was what they did. But again, with Hitler and the, uh, the, uh, the Hitler youth, he did use that as a way to train people militarily for his war that he was going to have. You know? And he also wanted, you know, the military battle equipped, not just and they weren't really better equipped, and most of them were still using cowboy and stuff, and have all the big panzers from what I've heard on different uh, YouTubers that I follow. Uh, I'm to think of the one guy I was thinking of. Uh, the one that does the tank memes. I'm trying to think of his name. Uh, I can't remember your name right now to give you reference there, uh, but I like your videos, and I'm trying to remember your name now. What do you want to subscribe to now? Uh, but yeah, Hitler uh, considered the uh, military in World War One was uh, ill-equipped and stuff, and he wanted the military probably more better trained so that you know people wanted to turn up and cannon fodder, you know, for his own means, for his own end, you know, that you wouldn't be like, you know, wanting to know how you live at the end. No, 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 no. Uh, it was important that. Oh my gosh, there's an ad. Let me just move that a bit, though. Thank you. I don't want any uh, strikes now. But Hitler wanted uh, to have the war only sold for his means. It wasn't about, you know, oh, you're living because you're gonna you know, come back home to your families. I want this war to go on, and yes, I want the military better equipped. But if you die, you die. Who gives a darn? I uh, can't say more to on YouTube that I would like to say. Uh, but I'm going to end here with part 7 and go on to part 8 on my review of Swastika here. And uh, <laughs> this is Lisa Stade here of the YouTube channels of Lisa Stade uh, signing off. And also of the other YouTube channel of Hitler Obsessed telling you to... Make sure to become a subscriber to Lisa Stay to make sure to become a subscriber to uh, Hitler Obsessed. Make sure to like my videos and this video on YouTube, on my YouTube channels of Lisa Stay and of Hitler Obsessed. And make sure to leave a comment on this video or any of my other videos on Lisa Stay and Hitler Obsessed. Hit the notification bell to all. So you'll see all the notifications of all uploaded videos uh, and your recommended and everything so I can get more views and stuff. Make sure to share these videos. You can send uh, donations or what go and donate right now uh, to my Patreon and become a patron and go to my subscribe store and donate to my subscribe store. You can go to my BitChu channel at uh, bitchu.com of Lisa Marie State. That is one word, just Lisa Marie State. And you can go to my Facebook page of Lisa State or my Facebook Messenger page of Lisa State and uh, send a friend request. You can send a comment or you can do both send a friend request and a comment. I would love to hear your feedback on these videos and your support. I apologize for uh, not being uploading lately here of this week. I had my account on Google go down for some lovely reason. Oh, and I'll end here.